yourself, then how are you going to be able to provide for others? So, um, so it, it has been tough. I'm not going to say it's been easy, but absolutely worth it. You know, I see my husband. There's nothing better than that, That's right? Absolutely, something I have to look forward to. I know. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm going to wrap up with a quick, fun question. Sure. If you could be a flower, what flower would you be? Okay. I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> if any of you guys know, and write into Deb and let her know. It's it's the Gerber daisy, or like the Gerber. But they're pretty. Daisy, or yeah. Gerber, Gerber. Or Gerber. Or Tamara. Tamara. Somebody will tell us. But it's the yes. one that comes in all the variety of flowers. And um, and I know they die fast. They do. But that's a good reason to keep buying them over and over <laughs> again. You know, kind of like a renewed sense of spirit, I guess, on every other day or whatever. I guess that's how you can interpret it. But most of all, um, the reason why I've, I found myself drawn to those flowers is because they're so bright and they're fun and joyful. Yeah. But at the same time, you notice when you buy them that they usually have that plastic around yeah, the stem. And they're very delicate also, which also is a sign of vulnerability and, you know, humility and... And so I think it kind of encompasses all of that. So yeah, the gerber, gerbera, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> that's and fine. that's me. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your very busy life. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.